friends we are learning the test of convergence for improper integral of type p okay uh, as we have seen p test for type a comparison test question test that is limit comparison test and limit test similarly we have seen in last lecture for type b two days we have seen comparison test and limit form of comparison test that is question test and the third test that is last test for the convergence of integral of type b is the limit test okay so this name is this is limit test okay first we have also seen limit test for type a okay there is very much similarity for limit test in type a and limit in type type b okay there is very small difference okay so if you know the statement for type a then it will be very easy to understand the statement of type b in improper integrals okay so what is statement let a function f of x you know from the class of continuous functions that is function f is continuous x is different than a and let's equal to b where a is the singular point of the function okay function f is continuous on this interval okay and limit x raised to a so a plus of x minus a raised to power p a to f of x is equal to f then first card if limit x raised to a plus of x minus a raised to power p into f of x is equal to f the real number and p is such that p is greater than 0 and t less than 1 then the improper integral of f of x is convergent then a is the singular point see if p lies between 0 to 1, that is strictly less than 1 and strictly greater than 0. A limit of x minus a raised for p into f of x is equal to l. L is real number. P is less than 1, greater than 0. Then the improper integral is converged. Okay. Second part. If p is equal to 1, that is x minus a raised for p is equal to 1. Into f of x is equal to limit l. It is not equal to 0. And real number. Or limit is equal to plus minus infinity. Or P greater than equal to 1, then the improper integral is divergent. See, in this case, P was strictly less than 1 and greater than 0. In this case, there are two options either P is equal to 1 or P is greater than equal to 1. And limit when P is equal to 1, then limit x raised to f x minus a raised to power 1, that is x minus a int f of x is equal to l is non zero real number or plus minus infinity. Then the integral is divergent. Or if p is greater than equal to 1 and limit is equal to some real number, then also the improper integral is divergent. And the test fails for limit l is equal to 0 and p is equal to 1. And we can conclude about the convergence of the improper integral for l is equal to 0 and p is equal to 1. Okay. So this is the statement of the limit test for convergence of the improper integral of type p. Okay. So, in type A, there was only x raised to power p was there. Here, a single point, there is small modification in the statement. Here, x minus a raised to power p. There was just x raised to power p. So, it is very much similar. Just difference here, x minus a, there was only x. Okay. So, if p is less than 1, the limit of this term is l, real number, then the integral integral is convergent. If p is equal to 1, a limit of this term is non zero real number or plus minus infinity, then improper integral is divergent. Also, if p is greater than 1 and limit is some finite real number, then also improper integral is divergent. Okay. So, this is the limit test for the convergence of the improper integrals of type B. Okay. We will solve some example based on this limit test. Okay. So, we have to check the convergence of this improper integral. You can easily see that x is equal to 0 is the singular point because you put x is equal to 0, the denominator becomes 0, so the function or integrand becomes infinite. Okay, so x is equal to 0 is the only singular point in this range. Okay, so x is equal to 0 is the only singular point for our function for or function or integrand f of x 
it is equal to 1 upon x into x plus 1. So now, now x is equal to this 1 by x is a part of where there is some disruption. Here x is equal to 0, this factor is 1 plus 0, so 1 by 1 is defined. Okay. So, what we will do? We will find limit x tends to 0 plus of x minus a. Okay, you have seen in the uh, statement of limit test. x minus a raised to power p, where a is a singular point. A singular point is 0, so x minus 0 raised to power p. So, x minus 0 is x. So, x, we will take only one power of uh, p is equal to 1, x raised to power 1 x minus 0 is to power 1 means x okay so x into f of x okay equal to limit x tends to 0 plus x f of x is 1 upon x into x plus 1 x get, get cancelled and x tends to 0 this divided goes to 1 plus 0 so 1 by 1 is 1 1 so limit is equal to 1 not equal to 0 and a real number so by second part in the limit test, by second uh, part of the limit test, what second part? If limit x tends to a plus of x minus a raised to power p into f of x, where p is equal to 1, and limit of this is non zero number, then the integral is divergent. So here p is equal to 1, and limit is non zero real number. So by limit test, so by limit the improper integral 0 to 1 of 1 upon x into 1 plus x with respect to x is divergent. Okay. This is the application of the limit test for convergence. Okay. Now, the second integral dx upon 2 minus x into x cube plus 1. Okay. Now, here x is equal to 0 is not single point because if we put x is equal to 0, 2 minus 0 is 2, 0 plus 1 1, there is no problem for the function. Okay. But if we put x is equal to 2, then 2 minus 2 becomes 0, denominator becomes 0. So, the function becomes unbounded. So, here singular point is here singular point is the only point 2 is x is equal to 2 and 2 is upper limit so we have to take limit as x tends to 2 minus okay so now limit x tends to 2 minus of x minus a where a is singular point a singular point is 2 so x minus 2 rest to power p we will take okay again problem only here in 2 minus x okay so we will take only one power okay into f of x f of x is 1 upon 2 minus x so we take minus common so x minus 2 into x cube plus 1 okay so if you want to know minus any side so become 2 minus x as it goes now see this is in multiplication okay x minus 2 and x minus 2 get cancelled okay and as x tends to 2 from minus side this, this goes to 2 cube means 8 plus 1 9 this implies is equal to minus of square root of 9 this is equal to minus of 1 by 3 again not equal to 0 again real number again same condition second condition p is equal to 1 limit non zero real number so the given improper integral is divergent again so by limit test the improper integral 0 to 2 dx upon 2 minus x into square, square root of x cube plus 1 is divergent. Why divergent? Because here p is equal to 1 and limit of this quantity is non zero number. So, by second condition, for second criteria of limit test, this improper integral is divergent. Okay? Now we have to test the integrals or test the convergence of this integral. Okay. Here limit is in form 1 to 2. Okay. First, 
we will simplify this integral okay so we can write this integral as 1 to 2 so dx upon x square as it is in bracket we know x cube minus 1 raised to the power we know x cube minus 1 the formula for writing x cube minus 1 in terms of multiplication of two brackets the formula is x cube minus 1 is equal to x minus 1 into x square plus x into 1 is x plus 1 okay now this is the value of x cube minus 1 and it is raised to power 3 by 4 so whole bracket raised to power 3 by 4 so this integral is equal to integral from 1 to 2 of dx upon x square as it is x minus 1 raised to power 3 by 4 into x square plus x plus 1 raised to power 3 by 4 first I will write this term x minus 1 raised to power 3 by 4 x minus 1 raised to power 3 by 4 into x square into x square plus x plus 1 raised to power 3 by 4 okay now observe this integral now from 1 to 2 there is only one singular point x is equal to 1 if x is equal to 1 this become 1 minus 1 becomes 0 total integral becomes unbounded so problem is that only x is equal to 1 and this term is problematic okay so what we will do we will take the limit we will take limit x tends to 1 plus of x minus a what is a is single point here it is 1 so x minus 1 will take raised to power 3 by 4 of the function f of x f of x is 1 upon this a is equal to ax so it's not x our function is only 1 upon this part so 1 upon x minus 1 raised to power 3 by 4 x square x square plus x plus 1 raised to power 3 by 4 now x minus 1 raised to power 3 by 4 and x minus 1 raised to power 3 by 4 get cancelled and x tends to 1 is x will become 1 square is 1 1 square is 1 plus 1 plus 1 so 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 is 1 as it is so 1 into anything is, is anything so 1 plus 1 plus 1 so 3 raised to power 3 by 4 is equal to 1 upon 1 into 3 raised to power 3 by 4 so 1 into 3 raised to power 3 by 4 means 3 raised to power 3 by 4 and this is the non-zero real number not equal to 0 now here t is equal to 3 by 4 and 3 by 4 is less than 1 and limit is non-zero real number then by part 1 of the limit test suggests that this integral is convergent because what is part 1 part 1 is if the value of t is greater than 0 and less than 1 and limit is a non-zero real number then the proper integral is convergent so by limit test the improper integral from 1 to 2 of x square dx upon x square x cube minus 1 raised to power 3 by 4 is convergent. Okay. This is the use of limit test. Okay. So in the limit test we can show that this integral is Okay. Next, take the convergence of this integral. Now here we can easily see one minus x. So singular point from minus one to one is one. We are doing x is equal to one. One minus one becomes zero. Denominator becomes zero. So improper integral becomes unbounded or improper. So x is equal to one is the singular singular point okay so and it is the upper bound okay so what we have to do we have to take the limit okay now limit x tends to 1 minus because 1 is upper limit okay of we will take so I will one only the 1 minus x okay so we will take only 1 power we can take x minus a to power p or 1 minus x minus a to power p or a minus a to power p. Okay. Now limit x to 1 
from negative side of multiply this function with x minus 1 or 1 minus x. Okay? Right. So 1 minus x is to power p. If p is equal to 1. Into our function, our function is 3 sin inverse x upon 1 minus x. So 1 minus x and this get cancelled. So I add x change to 1. Sin inverse 1 is equal to pi by 2. And this 3 is equal to 3 pi by 2. Belong to a real number and not equal to 0. Now see, here p is equal to 1, limit is non-zero real number, so which condition of the limit is, In second condition, p is equal to 1, the limit is not equal to 0 and a real number, so by limit test, by limit test, the given improper integral is diverted, so improper integral from minus 1 to 1 of 3 sin inverse x upon 1 minus x is divergent okay. by limit test. But because second model limit test suggests if p is equal to 1, the limit of x minus a raised to power p and here p is equal to 1 into s of x is non zero real number. So for p is equal to 1, the limit is non zero real number. Second part suggests that integral is divergent. So here my first part. P is not equal to 1, less than 1, limit is real number, so integral is converged. So, 